All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Lucid Dream Adventure. We are here with Lucy. We're on a new, looks like to be a new planet, a very small planet, a round planet. And we have to figure out the clues to get past this next chapter. This is chapter three. In the last chapter, we helped the moon get a satellite out of his eye. And the moon helped us travel to this new little tiny planet where the Oni Romancer is. So we need to figure out how we can communicate with the Oni Romancer. Maybe the Oni Romancer can help us help our mom not feel so sad anymore. So without further ado, let's go ahead and continue in Chapter 3 with Lucid Dream. Now I know where this symbol is. It comes from. It's the, it's the Oni Romancer. Because if you look over here, it looks just like the Oni, Oni Romancer's head. All right. So in the last video, before we cut out, a little little black thing like jumped off and ran into this little hole. I think you're hungry. So whatever that is inside that hole is, is hungry. We just took a branch and a feather. So a dream catcher was hanging in my window just a second ago. One of the hoops for my dream catcher. So a bunch of dream catchers. One of my one of the hoops for my dream catcher. This might be the dream interpreter Mr. Moon mentioned. We just took some we took a handle. I didn't even see it. I just saw that the thing we could pick it up. We used to plant strawberries with my mom in patches like these. Okay. What is this? It's got a doorway? What a strange bush. The eyes of those fish are flickering. They're flickering. Oh, they light up. Interesting. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these things. Maybe I'm only supposed to hit certain ones. Only certain goldfish eyes can light up. Maybe only the ones that are pointing to the left. Let's see if only the ones pointing to the left. No, maybe the ones pointing to the right. No. All right. Maybe we come back to it later. <laughs> All right, so this, something's missing. Maybe a handle. Perfect. It works. I hear water. Keep it pumping. Look at that. We got water filling up the well. There we go. I don't know if it's doing anything. Now there's water, but something's still missing. A bucket, probably. What's this crow doing? What is that? What did the crow, dro crow drop? We meet again. Do you want to warn me about something, or am I mistaken? I think he was. I think you're mistaken. What is this? This grape smells amazing. Can I? It was talking about planting something. Can I plant it in here? A vine. We have a vine. A grapevine. It looks like the ones from fairy tales. Oh, like Jack and a Beanstalk, maybe. Let's see what's going on with this. What? Are we loosening it? Maybe one more? Nice. We got something. What did we get? A chisel. Looks more like a hook. But a chisel. A stone obelisk. It's so cold. Ugh. Okay. So what do we do now? Chisel. We got a chisel. We got a grapevine. We got a feather. Huh. Oh, this thing's hungry. I could have fed it the grape. No, but I needed that grapevine. Maybe I can feed this thing the grapevine? No. Can I feed it a feather? Can I feed it a branch? Apparently, it ate a branch. Now I have a stav or a stick. <laughs> okay. Can I feed you the stick? Doesn't seem like a, the best idea. 
All right, can I hit Oni Romancer with a stick to wake him up? I don't think it's going to work, no. Can I give the chisel, the grapevine, the feather? Nothing. Okay. I don't know. Can we... Do I have to, like, combine things? Feather with the grapevine? No. Grapevine with the hook? No. Hook with a stick? No. Stick with the grapevine? Yes. Oh, stick with a string. Oh, and then the hook on the string? We made a fishing pole or a fishing rod. Can we put the hook with the feather? No. Can we do the hook with the... Oh, I thought it would grant me a wish. Can we... A feather? No. Can't do anything there. Hmm. Can we give the little thing the fishing rod? No. Can we give the Oni Romancer a fishing rod? What about a feather? No. Nothing. Maybe we have to do something with these goldfish. But I didn't see anything in there about... I haven't seen any hints about what to do with the goldfish. Hmm. Maybe. You see on the top left there, there's like a a star, astrology, ast whatever it's called, star formation. I can't remember. I can't astrology, star formation, whatever it's called. <laughs> it's astrological. I can't remember. It, it's it's making a shape with stars, right? Um. It looks like it's got these three. Um, maybe this one. And I can't really see, but maybe that one. I can't see the other one. Let's see if we can maybe reopen it. And it might give us a quick glimpse at it before it actually starts blocking it with the menu at the top. Okay, so there's this one. There's definitely those three. I think it's that one. That one and maybe this one. Oh, I did it. One of the one of the fish fell from the tree. I'm a jam genius. Now I got a goldfish. Can we add the goldfish to the fishing rod? And bait. That's a bait fish right there. <laughs> can we put the goldfish in the well? Yes, we can. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, goldfish turned into a star. Okay. Now we use the fishing rod to get the star. There we go. Reel it in. There we go. Now we have a star. I still don't know what we're supposed to do with this feather. Do we add the star to the feather now? No. I have no idea what we're supposed to do with that feather. But let's go ahead. Can we give the star to the Oni Romancer? Yes! I'm glad you didn't get lost. You don't have much time left. Not much time? What are you talking about, Oni Romancer? Every tear your mother sheds pulls her closer to death. Her mind is veiled in a darkness that she is unable to fight. If you don't find a way to cure her, she'll soon be just a memory. Mom has been feeling worse and worse, but I didn't know she was in so much pain. How do I know all this? Or how do you know all this, Oni Romancer? Your mother told me her secrets when she was sleeping. A difficult task awaits you, Lucy. Tell me, Oni Romancer, what am I supposed to do? I do anything to save my mom? She's all I have left. In the faraway land of Me Metatron? Metatron? There is a lost spirit. It is the reason your mother suffers. I'll help you get there, but I'm weak. Signs, uh, sign this contract and let me use the power of your soul 
that will allow me to wake you up in the next dream. I gotta sign a contract that lets you use power of my soul. I'm essentially signing my soul away to this old dream spirit Oni romancer. But apparently I, I, I'm okay with that. Okay, there's there's no time to spare. I'll sign the contract. Oh, and that's what I use the quill feather for. I got it. That's good. No, the feather is dry. Or where's the ink? I think you're hungry. I already fed you. Where's the ink? Oh! I just did something with the obelisk. I just... I guess the obelisk was... Dripping ink or something? Because now I have a feather with ink? Okay. Perfect. And we're going to sign our soul away. Lucy. All right. Can't read the contract. I don't know what I'm signing. He says that I'm gonna, he's gonna use part of my, part of my spirit, part of my, part of my soul. But I have no idea anymore because I can't even read the contract. She sleeps so peacefully. Just a moment ago, she was shaking, and the pillow was wet with tears. Is that is that me? And is, is that mom looking at Lucy? There's no escape from these nightmares. I feel awful seeing her suffer. I know she worries about me. We need to act and accept this new situation. She seems to be more and more absent. I'd like to believe it's going to be fine. I'll wake her up gently. It's time to go. What? Lucy, sweetheart, wake up. It's time to go. So were we dreaming this entire time? Like even during the puppet, like burning the puppet and everything? Like was that all just a dream? Oh no. Was the only romancer just a dream? Mom seems so uh seems to believe seems to be even sadder. Maybe I could hear or maybe I could cheer her up. I think this is I think this is chapter four. So now I don't know what, what was going on. Was like everything that we were doing, was that all a dream? Even when even chapter one when when we were in our house and then we got taken away and by the kite the kite was that all just a dream it has to be because you don't just fly off with a kite you don't just all of a sudden learn how to walk or not not learn how but you don't go from being in a wheelchair to just walking i mean it's got to be a dream right so i'm so confused like we're learning things about our mom in the dream world with the oni romancer selling off our soul for to be able to help our mom i don't know now we're in a graveyard. We're in a cemetery. And we know that we haven't seen our dad in a while. So maybe our dad is is passed away. Maybe that's who we're visiting here. I don't know. We're going to find out in the next chapter. In this chapter. We're going to find out in the next video. Hope you guys are enjoying Lucid Dream as Adventure as much as I am. If you are, hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and join the Tethered. As always, thanks for watching. Love you all, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.